In this video, I want to point out some ways of adding slides to your PowerPoint presentation that will hopefully make things a little bit easier for you. Here we have a previous presentation that we had. It just has two slides. And I can look over my thumbnail section on my left hand side and I see those two slides. Now, previously we talked about coming over and using a drop down to pick one of our different types based upon our current theme. I've chosen a section header slide. And I've chosen my section header. Just to give you a quick example. You notice on the left, we have a new thumbnail for it, and we even see some of the text. If I choose new slide again, and I click on the icon instead of the menu, notice it created a brand new section header for me. And that may not be what I wanted. Well, luckily I have a way around this. I can come over here to my layout, and this is gonna reformat my slide and any content I had on it, it will attempt to fit into my new slide. So that was a real simple way to make the change. I'm gonna come over here and choose another slide. This one, content with caption. So I have a title, a caption to kind of describe what's going on, and an image that's being used. But sometimes we have some things that we need to add that we might not have expected. For example, what happens if I want to put a slide in between two existing slides? Or what happens if I need a reorder slide? Well, that's actually pretty easy. I come up here to my second slide and choose a new slide and choose title and content. And notice that it inserts it between my current slide that I was on and the next slide. So now that slide has become slide three. All my following slides have now been pushed down one slide number. I can put in more information and I can do things like add a smart art. And a smart art allows me, just like with Word, to add different types of smart art items. This way I can show things like a process or a hierarchy. Maybe I show a relationship or a pyramid of information showing from things that are important on the bottom to things that are less important on top. I have a lot of different options that are available to me based upon what I need. Clicking my little arrow to my far left hand side allows me to put my different content. And you'll notice as I type, it updates in my slide. So this is going to be really familiar. But what happens if I want to reorganize my slides? And what happens if I have a huge presentation? Maybe it's 60, 70 slides. I'm going to come down here to my bottom, my icon where it says Slide Sorter. Notice as I drag, they'll move items around, and I can adjust different places for them to be. So this is going to give me a really good update so I know exactly how to present. I can go back to my normal view by clicking the icon next to it. I have other ways I can work with slides. For example, let's take this slide. Maybe I no longer need it in my presentation. I can right click on it and I can delete this slide. And that will automatically delete it and any content that was associated with it. By the same token, I can select a slide, right click on the thumbnail and choose to duplicate it. And now I have a brand new slide. It's completely duplicated did I go and make a change and accidentally click on something I didn't mean to? Well, I can reset the slide back to its default style based upon the theme of my presentation. If I have a slide that I'm not sure I want to use or not, I can right click on the slide and choose to hide the slide. Now you might be looking and go, but I still see the slide. I don't see any difference between my two slides. And what I'd like to use this for is 
weapons if I want to make a change, but I'm not sure that's the change I want. I want to get feedback and show it to other people. I'll duplicate a slide, make some changes, maybe hide it, and then share it with someone using the share button. If I go to present, this slide's going to be hidden. And I know it's hidden because I see a slash through the number on the side. When I go to present something, I may want to hand out copies of my slides to my attendees, or maybe a variation of them. So I go to File, and Print, and when I do that, I now have some different options. For example, I could print out full page slides. Not something I typically am going to do, as it's going to take a lot of ink, as there's a lot of graphics and things involved. However, I may want to have some notes pages. My notes pages provides basically a small thumbnail of my slide, and then any notes I've added goes below it. This would be more for me or whoever is presenting. That way they don't have to do things like look back at a screen in order to see what's going on. I can print multiple slides on a page. I find that printing more than three is a little bit hard to see, but you can. And what's nice about this is it's not going to take up as many pages. And if I look down at the bottom, I can see how many pages it will take to print. Additionally, I can use my navigation arrows to go see my other pages if necessary. That's how I go and work with my slides and then look at being able to print them out to hand out to attendees or other people who might need them.